So in this video, we're going to talk about linear sequences. We say that un, so we put a u and a little n, denotes the nth term in a sequence. So for example, u1 is the first term, u2 is the second term, and so on. So for example, if we have a sequence, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, we say that u1 is equal to 2, here, u2 is equal to 4, u3 is equal to 6, u4 is 8, and u5 is 10. That's just a notation thing. So what we can do, instead of always writing out sequences like this, is express them algebraically. So what we, what we notice about this particular sequence is that every term in this sequence is double its place in the sequence. So u1 is 2, and 2 is double 1. u2 is 4, 4 is double 2. u3 is 6, and 6 is double 3 and so on. So what we can say is instead of writing out u1 equals this, u2 equals this, u3 equals this, we can just say that un is equal to 2n. So all that's doing is it's giving us an expression to work out any term in the sequence. So we know that u100 is equal to 200. The 100th term in the sequence is just 2 times 100. So here, just, just, just to make it very clear, u1 is 2 times 1, u2 is 2 times 2, u3 is 2 times 3. So let's do an example to illustrate this. So we're asked to work out the 10th term in the sequence un equals 6 plus 4n. Well, we know that the 10th term can be written u10. That's just a notation, right? When n is 10, all we do is we plug in n equals 10 to this formula. So we get that u10 is equal to 6 plus 4 times, not n, but because n is 10 in this case, 4 times 10 which is equal to 6 plus 4 times 10 is 40. 40 plus 6 is 46. So we know just from this expression that the 10th term in this sequence is 46. So if we're, if we're asked a question the other way around, if we're asked to find the algebraic expression for the nth term, what you do is you calculate the common difference of each number and then work out how to get to your sequence from there. So let's just do an example because that will make a lot more sense if we see it in an example. So if we're asked to calculate or find an expression for the nth term of the following sequence, 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, what we do is we find the common difference. So the common difference is just the difference between all these terms, okay? So the difference between 2 and 6 is 4, because you're adding 4. You add another 4 to get to 10, another 4, and another 4, right? So our common difference is 4. So we start off, we could call it a guess, un is equal to 4n. So what, what we can actually do is just do a little table and we can say n un. So we have all our values. So this is our guess. u1, when n is 1, u1 is equal to 4 times 1, so 4. When n is 2, we get the un is 8, 3, 12, 16, 20, and so on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put down our sequence that we are trying to find the nth term for down here and let's see if we can spot a pattern or spot the relationship between the two. What we can immediately notice is that our sequence is just this sequence un minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. And that's precisely what our answer is. We get that un is equal to 4n, which is here, and then you just minus 2 to get to our sequence. Let's do the exact same thing again. So, nth term of 11, 21, 31, 41, 51. Well, first thing you always do, common difference. 11 to 21 is plus 10. 21 to 31, plus 10, plus 10, and plus 10. So we know that it's something along the lines of un is equal to 10n. So if it was 10n, we'd have the sequence 10, because 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, 10 times 4 is 40, and so on. And the difference between this and our desired sequence is just a difference of 1. You just add 1 to each step. So all you do to get your answer, un is equal to 10n plus 1. So the last example of this video, it's a little bit more tricky, and sometimes you get questions like this in an exam. So we're given that the nth term of a sequence is 8n minus 3 and we're asked to calculate the first term in the sequence greater than 1,000. 
So let's just have a think about what this means. So n refers to the number term that it is. So when we did our, we have n can be what first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So this goes on and we're asked to find what term, say x, is the first number that exceeds a thousand. So as we're approaching, they could be something like 991, 999. And then the next term, this, would be the first term that exceeds a thousand. So how do we get there? Well, all we need to say is set 8n minus 3 equal to 1000 because this is an expression for the value that the sequence produces and this is the term we're interested in because we want the first term bigger than this number. So if we solve this equation, we get that 8n is equal to 1003 and this implies that n is equal to 1003 divided by 8. If I just grab my calculator, it would be 1003 divided by 8. And this gives us 125.375. But we can't leave our answer like this because you can't have a 0.375 of a term. So what this is saying is that the 125th term is the last term under 1000. So the first term over 1000 is the 126th term because that's the value of n, the first value of n, where this expression is over a thousand. It's a bit it's a bit of a tricky one to get your head around, but all you need to do is just set the nth term equal to the number that they're asking and take the next integer above the answer you get. But yeah, that concludes this video on linear sequences. Thanks for watching.